EM Client 10 is here, and we are bringing some great features in this new major release. Let's have a look. AI Features Using artificial intelligence, you can now generate your messages based on specific prompts. Click on the AI icon in the message pane. Provide keywords to the AI, and even select the tone of the email. After clicking on Start, the AI will show you the results. If you are happy with the proposed text, click on Accept and Close. You can change the tone of the email at any time. Inbox Categories in EM Client EM Client categorizes your messages automatically into categories in the middle top pane. For Gmail accounts, categories are taken from the server. For other accounts, messages are categorized locally in EM Client. If you need to assign a different category, you can easily change it. Right-click on the message you want to sort into different category tab. Select the desired category to assign it. There is another way to organize your messages. Simply drag and drop the email into the category while holding down the Shift key. This will give you the option to add all existing messages from this contact to this category, and create a rule to assign this category to all future messages. Data Files Manager This new feature will allow you to import and create your own data files, store them anywhere on your disk, and mount them to EM Client at any time. Select the file you want to mount. For example, a PST file. You will see all mounted data in the left pane. Folder Filter You can easily search and filter folders in the left pane, not just in the mail section, but calendars, contacts, and tasks as well. Use the magnifying glass icon next to the section title. Type in the keyword to filter folders and they will come right up. Recent badges for new messages. New unread messages will now be shown as separate red counters so you can recognize right away which mailbox has a new unread message. The counter will change back to all unread messages once you open the folder. Custom color for unread messages. It is now possible to set a specific background and text highlight color for unread messages. Some themes have it turned on by default. The highlight color changes immediately as defined in the applied theme. For some themes, you will need to turn it on in the settings. And finally, you can even set your own color in Theme Editor. Conversations Redesign Conversations are now clearer to read, and there is a preview of the collapsed messages. You can also change the order of conversations to have newest on top. Quick Actions Create macros for common task automation to execute several actions via a single shortcut or option in the toolbar. Choose actions to speed up email creation, email settings, or email sending. Name your action and create your own shortcut by pressing Ctrl plus T. Save and close your new quick action and start using it right away. Now, select the email you want to tag and move to folder and press Ctrl plus T. The quick actions perform the steps for you so you can sort out your messages faster and be more efficient.
multi-chat support. Simply click on the three dots and chat. You will see all your conversations here. With a completely redesigned chat, multi-chat is now available in EM Client 2. You can use Microsoft Teams, Slack, and IceWarp Team Chat directly in EM Client. To add reaction, simply select the message and click on the smiley icon on the right. Reply in Thread can be found on the right too, or in the top pane as well as Add Reaction. Use at symbol to tag people in conversation. Multi-chat is now available too. Mentions. You can use mentions in messages. Simply type at symbol and start typing the name. Select the contact from the suggestions. The contact will be automatically added to the to field. This can be useful when addressing more recipients in one message. Emoticon Lookup Use Emoticon Lookup to speed things up in emails or chat. Simply type a colon and then without any space, start typing the description or name of the emoticon. Propose new time for invitations. The option to propose new time for a specific event is now available directly inside the invitation. Select the date and time you would like to propose and click Save. A pop-up window will come up to confirm that the changes were made. You can decide whether to send the proposal or not.